Are you ready for a revelation from God that is going to bring you healing in your life? Yes, that cancer, that heart disease, the diabetes, that pain you've been having, that, that those cancer grows. Listen, all of that can be healed by God. But you have to have faith. And faith cometh by hearing the word. So what does the word say about healing? Listen to this in Luke chapter 6, verse 17. Jesus went down with them and stood in a level place. A large crowd of his disciples was there and a great number of people from all over Judea, from Jerusalem and from the coast of Tyre and Sidon who had come to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. Aren't you glad they didn't just come to be healed? They came to hear him. Why? Because if, you, if they don't have faith, they can't be healed and faith cometh by hearing him, by hearing the word. Now watch this. Those troubled by evil spirits were cured, verse 19. And the people all tried to touch him because power was coming from him and healing them all. Didn't say healing most of them, some of them, but all of them. Can you imagine a woman comes and says, my husband just passed away and I wish I knew if he left me anything. What do you tell her? Read the will. And that's what some of you need to do. Read the will of God. And what is the will of God? It's the Bible, the New Testament. In fact, the New Testament comes from the word will and testament. You want to know the will of Jesus for you? Read the New Testament. And you know what you find? Jesus healed them all. And Jesus said, I did not come to do my will, but the will of him who sent me. Jesus is the personification of the will of God. That's right. He wants you well, my brothers and sisters. All throughout the scriptures, the Bible over and over again talks about that we have a better covenant. Hebrews 8, 6 says, we have a covenant, better covenant based on better promises. You know, many Christians and theologians will say that, yes, under the old covenant, God did heal. And that was his promise. But under the new covenant, he doesn't do that. Well, that doesn't sound like a better covenant to me. Because, you know, a better covenant has to include everything that is good under the old, including additional things that were not under the old. You know, have you ever got a warranty? They'll usually when these car uh, dealers sell you warranties, there's usually three levels. There's the good warranty, the better warranty, and the best. And when you look at the good, they'll tell you. It will cover the transmission, the engine. That's it. The better... They're going to cover the engine, the transmission, but then additional things. Can you imagine the better not including the engine and transmission? You would say, that's not a better one if you're going to exempt that. And then the best one includes everything that's the better, but then they add some more. <laughs> Most theologians agree that the old covenant included healing, yet they teach that God didn't check that box, that under the New Testament, we don't get healing. How stupid. No, healing belongs to us. Jesus, who is Jehovah Rapha, he was a healer and he healed everyone over and over again. Was there even one person that Jesus turned down? Not even one. And yet you think you're going to be turned down by the Lord. Now, healing is the down payment of our resurrected body. The Bible says we have the earnest or the first fruits of our inheritance. So here's what the Holy Spirit has come to do. He's come to live in us. Oh, that's why Jesus said, it is for your good that I go away. For if I do not go away, the comforter cannot come. When I read that as a new believer, I thought that cannot be true. How in the world is it better to ha not have Jesus with me in the flesh? And then I realized later, Jesus is saying, I have to die on the cross and make redemption a reality. I have to ascend at the right hand of God the Father, present my blood before the Supreme Court justice of the universe. And then I'm going to sit down and then I'm going to send the Spirit. So the Spirit is going to be working after redemption is accomplished. And then something else. The Holy Spirit is not going to live with us. He's going to be in us. You see, Jesus could only be with the people, but now he's in you. Do you not understand this better covenant? Yes, the, we do have a better covenant. And that better covenant is the spirit living in us, is that the healer is in us. And is the Holy Spirit a healer? 
He's Jehovah Rapha because the Holy Spirit is God. So many times we think of God the Father as Jehovah Rapha. Maybe Jesus as Jehovah Rapha. But friend, the Holy Spirit who is God is Jehovah Rapha and he lives in you. The healer lives in you. Paul wrote in Romans 8, 11, the Spirit will make alive our mortal bodies. See, and what the Holy Spirit, who is the down payment of our inheritance does, he heals our bodies, but it's not as good as the resurrected body that we're gonna have one day, but it's better than being sick. So what God does is he heals us in this life so that at least we feel good and strong and healthy and can serve the Lord because that's a down payment of our resurrected body. Yes, one day we're gonna have a new body, but in the meantime, we have the down payment of divine healing. And friend, it belongs to you because the New Testament says so. And who has the right to change the terms and the promises of the New Testament? No preacher has that right. No church has that right. And Jesus has made it clear in the New Testament, Healing is God's will for you.